Hey folks, so we just got done riding in Revit Sports New Stratum GTX suit. This is a two-piece touring and adventure touring style suit from Revit Sport out of the Netherlands. Now, if you don't know about Revit, they are a premium motorcycle safety and apparel brand that's based out of the Netherlands. They've been importing their motorcycle gear into the United States for well over a decade. And the Revit Touch really is just the, the high quality and the, and the fair price point of this gear. That's really their secret sauce. This gear is crazy functional and it's a really good value when you consider the excellent function and fit. Now the Stratum GTX is all new for the 2023 calendar year. It's positioned at the top of the food chain of Revit's touring and adventure touring apparel. Now, the elephant in the room, of course, is the price. The Stratum GTX jacket retails for $1,400 and the matching pant is $1,100. This motorcycle gear is not inexpensive, but for that price, you get a lot of features. Let's get into it. Now, we've logged some considerable time inside the Stratum GTX jacket and pant, most recently on Yamaha's adventure ride where we operated its Tenere 700 middleweight adventure bike and we also operated its Wolverine R-Max 2 which is a two-seat recreational side-by-side. -side. Now let's begin with the Stratum GTX jacket. Now the exterior of this jacket is constructed from a high-end Gore-Tex material. It is actual Gore-Tex sourced fabric. It's not some proprietary fabric that's meant to act like Gore-Tex. This is Gore-Tex high-end stuff, hence the GTX in the naming convention of the Stratum GTX pant and jacket. Now, this Gore-Tex shell is, it's really good. It does an excellent job of shielding the rider from the effects of wind, from cold. Like this is a really durable shell. Now Revit and other premium gear manufacturers, they make really good exterior shells, but this Stratum GTX shell, this thing is really, really good. Just the, the quality and the thickness and the way it's constructed, like when you touch it and you see it, like this is a high-end fabric. I really like the outer shell of the jacket because you can wear it like you would uh, a sport jacket. That's what we did when we were driving with the Wolverine R-Max two-seat recreational side-by-side. -side. Obviously, we're operating a side-by-side, -side, so we don't really need the Revit proprietary C-Soft soft armor inside. So we just wore the exterior two-piece shell, and that worked good. There's no armor inside of that shell. It is just basically like a heavy, heavy-duty windbreaker. I really like that it has a variety of pockets. You can open, it, open the arm pockets and the shoulder pockets to get some air moving. There's also a big back pocket. The jacket also has a nice variety of pockets to keep your stuff inside. The only gripe is the pockets, just the zipper, the, the, the zipper on these pockets is so heavy duty and it has such a good seal that it can be hard to actually manipulate the zipper and get the pocket to open and close just because the steel is so stiff. Obviously, We've only worn this jacket a handful of times, so it'll be interesting to see if the zippers actually break in. But it's nice to know that Revit uses really high quality YKK zippers. Even though the zippers are, are a little bit stiff, there's a couple times where I'm like, oh my God, am I gonna break this zipper? Like, is it gonna break or come off the, the zipper axis? It never did. You know, I'm gonna squirt some silicone spray inside the zipper, see if that will lubricate things up. But just something to, to mention the zippers are a little stiff, especially when the jacket's brand new. I really like that there's a big back pocket. You can put a hydration pack in there. You can store stuff in there. It's really nice having a functional jacket that has a lot of pockets, a lot of zippered venting to keep you cool. I also like the, the Stratum GTX optional Gore-Tex hood. I'm a big fan of a hood. It keeps your head dry and keeps the wind away from it when you're riding in inclement weather. 
and you can of course really you can remove it really easy with that zipper but i like the hood the hood's always a functional thing there's really no place aside from a really hot day where i wouldn't want a hood it's nice to have especially when you're in the mountains especially when you're going to be exposed to wind now we didn't get a chance to ride with this jacket in direct rain. It was raining around us a lot of times, but not raining on us. But like I said earlier, the Gore-Tex shell, this is a Primo shell. Like I said, a lot of premium manufacturers make Gore-Tex outer shells and, and, and Gore-Tex version outer shells that are nice, but this thing is super high. And getting inside the jacket, inside the jacket is, a mesh style jacket that's designed to be worn alone or you can wear it with the outer shell if you're riding in cooler weather now the inner jacket is made from a, a real thick thick mesh material that revit says was designed to move a lot of air this jacket's very form fitting it has elbow armor shoulder armor it has a back protector inside each of these pieces are removable Revit uses its fantastic Seasoft pliable blue armor. Now they've been using Seasoft for forever. And this armor is so awesome is because it's thick, it is super pliable, it's comfy, it form fits to the anatomy of a man or woman's body. And when you're wearing this armor, you don't even really know you're wearing armor until you know you need it and i really like it it's also pretty slim and low profile armor where you can wear this jacket out and people aren't going to really know it's a motorcycle jacket that's why revit's always been one of my go to, to gear brands when i'm riding my motorcycle is because when i go to the club when i go to the spot i don't want to look like a motorcyclist i just want to look like a normal dude or at least try to anyways and with revit's gear the way the the armor fits inside the jacket it's real low profile people really don't know that you're wearing proprietary motorcycle gear which i like now the jacket itself also has these really nice hand loops which you can use to keep the jacket from rotting up on your arm i have long arms i'm six foot tall 205 pounds i squeezed into a size medium but realistically i probably should have got a size large i've gained a little bit of weight and size medium fit me a little too snugly for my liking i would opt for a large revit gear always fits this gear is european style gear so it's engineered for a slim person not from some behemoth human being which is me right now so just keep that in mind if you're a slim person this gear is going to fit you really good if you're a little bit more heavy set you might want to size up if i had to do it again i'd size up into a large it's worth noting that revit offers gear small up to triple xl sizing now the stratum gtx pant you don't have to pair the pant with the jacket you can if you want but you don't have to if you do pair the pant with the jacket it has a nice zipper enclosure with a real thick zipper so you can zip the pant to the jacket that way it'll be a one sealed device the pant has a nice upper lip that really seals that zipper so you're not going to get any wind or cold or water inside that jacket that's a great solution if you're going to be on the bike all day and you want a real connected piece of touring kit now the stratum gtx pant this is another awesome piece of riding gear. Again, that Gore-Tex shell is just, it's unbelievable how intricately it's made. I love the, the embossed material, which it actually adds a degree of grip. Sometimes when you're wearing these Gore-Tex shells, they can be a little bit slippery on the surface of the bike, not the Stratum GTX pant. It actually grips the fuel tank of the motorcycle really well. And when you're riding an uh, adventure touring bike off-road, especially a heavy adventure touring bike off-road, you're going to need to grip that thing hardcore with the legs to keep that thing from bucking around when you're riding in the gnarly stuff. And the Stratum GTX really complements that. I like the big pockets it has, the ventilation, the, the, the calf area on the pant on the outside of the calf area it has these big Velcro enclosures so you can secure it over the boot or under the boot. I like using the Stratum GTX over the boot. That just works better for me with that setup. 
And again, like it really keeps you comfortable and dry. Now, just like the jacket, the pant is a two-piece design. So years ago, even not even years ago, but Revit used to use sometimes three-piece designs in their off-track touring gear where you had, you had an inner liner, you had the rainproof shell, and then you had the jacket. Now Revit, Revit's kind of slimmed things down and went from a three-piece setup to a two-piece setup. So inside that Stratum GTX pant, we have that same form-fitting, thick air mesh material that's designed to move a lot of air. It's real thick material. It's a real slender design. Again, the, the Gore-Tex liner doesn't have armor inside. The thick air mesh has the armor. It has a C-soft knee guards and the hip guards. I usually pop out the hip guards just because they make the pant a little bit uh, bigger and I don't really like that. So I usually pop out the hip guards, but you can leave them in if you want. Of course, that C-soft gear, which we talked about before, <clears throat> it's awesome. Pliable, moves air, super cozy, super easy to live with. I like it a lot. Now, inside that air mesh material, the pants designed to be worn inside the boot. So if you weren't wearing the, the Gore-Tex outer shell, you'd want that, that, that pant to be inside the boot. That's just how it, it fits. It's a real slim design. The, the pant is so slim where it would be hard to get a set of knee braces on inside the pant. I'm not gonna say it's impossible, but it would definitely be difficult to do. So that is one gripe. When I'm riding a, a adventure touring bike, especially a big heavy one, I absolutely wanna wear knee braces. When you're riding these 500 pound bikes, it's just a lot of weight and you wanna have knee braces just to add a little bit of stability to your knees, especially for a, a guy who's a little bit elderly now and his knees are a little bit beat up. So just something to remember, I'm not saying knee braces are incompatible with the Revit Stratum GTX pant, the inner, the inner pant, but it's gonna take some finessing to put them on. Now, one gripe about the Stratum GTX pant is, especially the outer pant is, gosh, it fits tight. There's no stretch material in the exterior shell of the pant. There are a couple of Velcro uh, loops on the side which you can tighten the pant with but I squeezed into a, a size 34 pant and when, or a size medium pant and when I say squeezed I mean I squeezed realistically I probably should have got a large pant but the problem is when you get a large pant is I have a big waist I have a 34 inch waist but my legs are real slim and skinny so if I get a large pant, the waist will fit me good, but then the legs will be a little bit baggy. That's why I usually like to squeeze in a medium pant. It would be nice if Revit would have engineered a little bit of stretch material into the Gore-Tex liner of its pant. I do like that it now incorporates a belt. There's a fabric belt that helps snug the pant, especially when you can't get that button uh, popped closed after lunch but the belt is a little chintzy feeling. It's crazy because Revit really went all out with the touch points of this, of this jacket and pant. This is really nice stuff, but the belt's a little teensy weensy. The belt needs to be thicker. The bulkle system's a little cheap feeling and we would we would wish Revit would, would upgrade that belt and make it a little bit more beefy, especially for big boys like me. It would also be nice if they incorporated some kind of bib system. I know not everyone likes bibs and you can secure the jacket and the pant with the zipper, so having a bib's almost a moot point, but I still like boot bibs. Bibs keep the pant from riding down on you. I'm a big advocate of bibs. It'd be nice if they would have had a modular bib solution for that pant. Well, folks, as you can tell, I'm a big advocate of the Stratum GTX jacket and pant. It does a really good job of blocking the wind out on the track or trail or the road. We didn't get a chance to test its waterproofness, but I would absolutely pick this gear aside from an aero stitch suit if I was going to be riding in the rain. It looks like it's really going to do a good job of keeping the water outside of the jacket. Now, again, this, this Revit Stratum GTX pant and jacket, it's very functional. You can wear it alone as just the inner jacket and pant, 
or you can wear it alone as the outer jacket or pant, or you can combine the two based on the weather conditions where you're riding. But it really is a great versatile functional gear set for you adventure and touring riders who are looking for a single piece of gear that can cover a lot of terrain and on a lot of type of vehicles. You gotta remember in Southern California, everyone always thinks it's warm and sunny, but if you're living in the coastal areas of Southern California, it's usually cold in the morning, cold in the night, warm during the day, and you really need a versatile set of riding gear that can keep you warm and dry in the mornings and the nights, and yet, yet still flow a lot of air and, and keep you cool during warm time ridings. And that's where this Stratum GTX pant and jacket really fit in. It's certainly not cheap. And it's certainly not designed for every size rider. You gotta remember, this is, this is slender fitting gear. So if you're a bigger person, we always recommend sizing up to the next size. But if you're just looking for a high end piece of riding gear that, that's gonna go the distance and has a really good feature set with really good details. That's the Revit touch. Revit thinks of the details. Other manufacturers make really good touring gear that's a lot less expensive, but the, the grip material on the inside of the legs, it's not there. And when you're looking, when you're riding in the gnarly stuff, you're gonna need all the help you can get. And that's the Revit difference with their Strata GTX jacket and pant. Well, folks, that's our review of Revit's new Stratum GTX jacket and pant combo. As always, make sure to surf on over to MotorcyclistOnline.com. That's where all of our content lives. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs it down if you didn't, because we love to hear from the naysayers out there. Everyone's opinion counts over here. And please leave us a comment. What do you think of Revit's gear? Do you ride with Revit? We have for decades and we love it. Sound off in the comment section. We always love to hear from our proven purchasing US audience. Well, folks, thanks for riding with us and we'll see you in the next episode.